we know where we stand with God. Hallelujah. I don't want to shut up. I know there's a stopping point somewhere. But I will say this much. When we do what we can for the Lord. See how much more difference. You know, I have seen, and I'm not talking about nobody. When we get up, I could ask a question to somebody for a minute. I was really sincere in my younger days. They'd go plumb around and around and talk to me for about an hour and 45 minutes. Come back and say, you know what I'm talking about? Do you understand now? I said, no. You got me more confused now than I was at the beginning. But you know what? I found I had to search those scriptures. I found that being lazy don't get it. I found that we're going to have to get into our word, brother. Come on. Had, yeah. We're going to have to study the word. And if you think you can come to the altar and be saved, Go back home and pick up that Bible again oh, until the next church night. Hallelujah, it's not going to make it. We're not going to make it. Sister right. Sharon, I couldn't live without praying every day. There is no way that I can make it through one day without the Lord. I want him to cry. You know, if we're all members of Christ, Shut up. But if we're all members of Jesus, then let's show love one for another. Uh-huh. And I don't care what you've heard on me. I don't care what you've heard on anybody else in the church. Right. Instead of taking it out those doors, bring it to the person right. that has either hurt you, right. or you think you can hurt them, or you think something is wrong. Because right. once he goes out that door, it's never going to be told the same. Right. It's never going to be the same, Brother Timmy. I've been here. We need, you say you think you're perfect. No, I don't. And like I said, because I know I'm not perfect. There's only one perfect person. But I'm striving to that perfection. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. And you know above all things. And Sister Roger, Brother David, and I'm her. Sister Tim, and him. Jesus, I've just got to you know, I want my kids to go. And I'm thankful to God that some of them's come and graduate. But you know what? If they ever decide, if they don't want to go, I still want to go on. Yes. Hallelujah. I heard my mom say many times, I love you. If you don't want to go to heaven, I'm going. And the only way you're going to see me is you make it right with God. If there's anything between you and him, you better get it right. Because you will never walk down those streets and go with me. It's hard, but James. You just stop and think about it. Those that have gone on before us, we know it's in heaven. Without us, 